Hey everybody, this is Sean V. Bradley, president of Dealer Synergy and the creator of the Millionaire Car Salesman Group. And I'm chilling here with my daughter, Tiana Chanel Mick. Say hello, world. Hello. <laughs> I'm so white. <laughs> you're, what? There is no race. Oh, you mean just white because yeah, of the flare. Um, oh, okay. I was saying, you're, you're, you're butter peeking reeking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you go. That's better. All right, yeah. so let's do that again. This is Sean V. Bradley and... Tiana. Tiana Chanel Mick. So I want to just say that I am super excited and super proud that you actually started working at Savage 61, correct? Yeah. You know what's kind of cool is that on Thanksgiving, um, I did a live stream and I said, hey, my daughter's interested in, in uh, jumping into automotive sales and we had so much uh, positive feedback. Check the directions, make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah. We're driving. All right, so uh, obviously it's Christmas Eve, so first of all, happy holidays to everybody and Merry Christmas to everybody that's, uh, that you know, uh, celebrates Christmas. But let's get into it. So T, can you just kind of share with everybody what the experience has been like for you? And you can hold this for a minute here, just for a little bit, and just like that. So just kind of share, what has it been like for you, um, like the last couple days that you've been working? Um, I've just been doing a lot of training. Okay, so talk to him. What kind of training have you been doing? Grant Cardone. Yeah, it's okay. You say Grant. I'm a fan of Grant. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they're a non-dealer synergy client. So let's go through this. So day one, you got you've got a chance to meet people, right? Yeah. Okay. So and then, uh, you, what type of training have you been doing on Cardone? Has it been just like road to the sale, sales one on one, sales basics? Yeah. Basically. Okay. Now you you gave some compliments. What did you say that you liked about Cardone's training? Um, he gave more like real world context and kind of give you situations that you would be in on the showroom floor so that I could like go back and think about it and kind of like connect it to the real world versus just like textbook stuff. Right. And so um, your overall opinion, so how, how do you like, is it overwhelming to just get into the car industry and not knowing a ton about cars or like, this is what I want to do is there's a lot of people that's in their group that it's brand new to the industry. Mm -hmm. So just talk to us. How, how are you feeling like working at, in a dealership as far as, do you feel like overwhelmed by all the information or do you feel intimidated? Like what's going on in your mind? Um, not really right now. I don't really feel really intimidated or anything like that. I'm just learning. I mean, I like school, so I like learning. Okay, cool. And so everybody at the dealership's been mad chill so far, right? Yes. Okay, and you are the only female sales professional? Yes. Okay, that's cool. And you said that there's been a couple people already that uh, that thought that you were on the floor and stuff and actually came up to you, right? Yeah. And what did you say to me if you're like, I wish I knew so? Yeah, I said I wish I knew like the proper way to go through the process because people were already trying to buy cars from me. <laughs> All right, so put this on me. I'm going to give you some tips. Okay, don't, like turn it like that. So perfect. Okay, so what I would say is this, and this is for anybody. I want you in the, in the video too. Okay. There you go. Perfect. So what I want to say is that when people are first starting out in the car industry, you know, you need to turn around and realize there's multiple things happening at the same time. So the first thing I'm going to say is like what you guys are getting trained on right now is, you know, like the, the road to the sale and car sales 101. Mm -hmm. Now Cardone is really, really good at, at what Cardone does. Um, the other two things I want to put on your radar, sweetheart, is uh, two things. One is going to be product knowledge. Uh, you have not started with the Chrysler, you know, product knowledge yet, right? No. Okay, so here's some tips that I would say to everybody is that, and this might sound like dumb or basic, but this happens, at, at, probably not your store, you have a great GM and owner, but some dealerships, like the salespeople, don't take the manufacturer training seriously, and they pay other people to do their tests. What I would say is this, you really got to become a master of your product. product knowledge is absolutely important and so again but here's the thing though when you get it from Chrysler or from you know Dodge Jeep Ram etc you know get the certification go through all that but here's what I would also do here's like a pro tip go to YouTube and then look at specific walkarounds there's a lot of salespeople that create um, videos and post them online and so for example what I say for you is you got to turn around and, and ask your dealer or do the research what is the top vehicle like I know that, for example, in the Northeast here in Pennsylvania, you know, Jeep Grand Cherokees are huge. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I would turn around and look at uh, Jeep Grand Cherokees. I would also turn around and look at Ram 1500s because of the Ram 1500 for 2019, just one truck of the year. Um, and then obviously for Chrysler and for Dodge, you know, just look at the vehicles. But not only from the manufacturer's perspective, there's some really amazing sales professionals, showroom sales professionals that are posting walkarounds. Because here's the thing I'm going to tell you is that 
people are doing a ton of research. You know, prospects are spending anywhere from 11 to 14 plus hours online before they ever step into the dealership. They're looking at all this different information. So if all you're gonna be able to do is regurgitate what the manufacturer, what, what, what they could get from Chrysler's website or what they could get from, you know, Dodge or Jeep's website, then it's not gonna be, in my opinion, of as much value. What you need to do and what everybody else needs to do is to figure out what additional value can you put in there. Do you know what I mean? So again, that you don't you're not trying to turn around and replicate JD Power or anything like that. You need to turn around and find out things that you really like about the vehicle. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so you want to look at other people's style. That's that's you know, none of this stuff is is brand new. I mean, car sales have been around for like, you know, a hundred years. I've got clients that own their 40 dealerships for a hundred years for a century so again there you know how many different ways can you present a vehicle so what you want to be able to do is learn as much as you possibly can and then the other thing is that you know here's something that's really important there's seven main reasons why people are going online price availability convenience I hate car salesman research trade credit there's different demographics and geographics from you know family senior citizens you know um, single you know people people that are buying a vehicle for the first time Time, people that are using it for sports and all sorts of stuff so what you want to be able to do is make sure that by mastering your product knowledge by looking at all the different perspectives but also kind of correlate it for different people why would a family like this particular vehicle why would a kid buying a, his first vehicle you know like this vehicle why you know what I'm saying and yeah. just put that together so Based on what I just said, give me some, I wanna make sure you're understanding what I'm saying. So what what are some things you could do that are gonna be able to, um, you know, kinda give you a competitive edge learning this stuff? What type of websites can you go to? Um, basically the, I mean, what my dealership puts out. Which is the manufacturer training, yeah. what, what else? Um, I just said videos, where can you get videos from? YouTube, everywhere. Yeah, YouTube? Okay, what else? What do you think? Um, I don't know the internet. Okay, but here, see, this is good. So here, tilt it so I can come in. So, so what I'm going to say, this is really good. And T, you know, that's why I'm posting this, so you could go back to this too. What you want to do is find. You work for, you know, now Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. You want to find other Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, you know, really strong professionals. So, for example, like just in the network that 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 our dealer synergy clients that are really good, Paramus Chrysler is one of our big clients. You want to turn around and follow them and follow who their, you know, who they have that are really strong. Mm -hmm. So those are my, th th that's the tip right there is A, you want to obviously go through your manufacturer training, right? You want to go through, you know, FCA or Chrysler, you know, Fiat Chrysler of America training, your OEM training, your certification. You want to go to YouTube and you just want to type into YouTube uh, something like this, 2019 Ram 1500 walk around, um, 2015 Ram, you know, um, product presentation, you know, and, and stuff like that. You might even look at reviews too. This is another something that's really good. This is YouTube stuff. You might turn around and type in 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokee customer reviews. And then what you can turn around and do is, and this is really cool, T, is that you can turn around and save these links. So when you find these, you I might turn around and create, because you have a Gmail account. You know, I don't know if it's through a dealership, but through Dealer Synergy, you have a, a Gmail account. Create a Google Share document. If you create a Google Share document, and then all the cool videos that you like, save them under categories. So you can turn around and put customer reviews. Because it, it doesn't have to be your customer, T. Do you follow what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't have to be somebody that's buying a vehicle from Savage 61 in Reading, Pennsylvania. If you've got a prospect that's on the phone or internet or that you know that's a b-back and they're looking at a, at a Grand Cherokee you could turn around and show her a couple really phenomenal you know or show him a couple really phenomenal um, you know video testimonials that you found on on YouTube they don't have to be particularly from you does that make sense yeah okay so the first one that I said was I'm sorry the first one that I had said was your manufacturer training the second one that I had just said was you know going to YouTube whether they're product reviews product presentations or customer reviews Reviews, right the other thing I would turn around and say is in addition to that is find automotive sales professionals that are crushing it you know what I mean find automotive sales professionals that are crushing it um, and again that's for for new right 
for used, I'm going to tell you right now, there's a gentleman like Greg Jones. He's part of the, our group. This is the guy that made $10 million, you know, selling cars on the showroom floor. He made $6 million at Sepa Buick GMC. But even though he's at a Buick GMC dealership, darling, he sells, you know, like 90%. He's a, he's a used car salesperson. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So your hands are getting tired. I can do this. Okay. See, so yeah, I'm a pro champion at this. All right. So. Now, I'm gonna ask you again, so what are the different places that you could turn around and start finding product knowledge and product videos besides the manufacturer? Two other places. Um, other dealerships. Other dealerships and other sales professionals, right? Yeah. Okay, so you know how like everybody has uh, like, you know, like heroes, whether they are like superheroes or the professional athletes, like your brothers, they, they're freaking like, you know, they, they have YouTubers that are gamers, right? Yeah. You need to turn around and, and find some superhero car people. There's some amazing automotive sales men and automotive sales women that are just straight pros. All right, so that's that. Okay, that's the first thing I wanna kinda get out to you is the product knowledge stuff. Second thing is CRM. Now, talking to your, your GM, he's super awesome. Um, he's basically, you know, he might be transitioning CRM. So I don't, I don't wanna give you too much advice. Other than I'm gonna say is that CRM is the most important tool. This is where like I'm, I'm gonna come in and Bradley and a man's gonna come in. Like I said, I love Cardone and Cardone's awesome, but he doesn't have a fraction of the, he doesn't have any of the stuff that we do for CRM, you know, for automotive. You know what I mean? So we've spent like tens of thousands of dollars creating a certification for CRM. So you gotta realize that, and this is important because I, I even told this to your GM, is that there is no CRM CRM company, CRM stands for obviously customer relationship management. There is no CRM company in the automotive industry, darling, that teaches psychology, strategy, content, and operations at all. Not one CRM company. I mean, and I love Vin Solutions, but not Vin Solutions, not Dealer Socket, none of them. Aaron, absolutely, Aaron, absolutely. So I'm going to get into this right here. What you need to do is you need to learn CRM. I swear to you, that's going to catapult you ahead of like so many people is if you turn around and you match master your CRM. So there's two levels to CRM mastery. Okay. There's two levels to CRM mastery. One is going to be the CRM tool itself. So if your people are going to use like, um, like elites potentially, or they use VIN, whichever, whichever one your dealership does, you definitely need to go to the CRM training, but that CRM training is just going to let you know how to move the buttons, how to customize this, how to log up and all basic stuff. But it's not going to give you what I feel is the vast majority of the information, which is the psychology, the strategy, the content, because here's what I would say, okay, is this, is that a CRM, honey, is, is going to be, you know, like your own team of personal assistants. If you know how to set up your CRM the right way as a sales professional, you will be able, it's like going to have like, it's like having a team of personal assistants and you're a freaking millennial. So between your CRM mastery using like, you know, Apple Siri, you know, using your, your iPhone and stuff like that the right way and using certain devices, you're going to be turn around and, and freaking awesome. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Nate just said uh, some stuff here. I'm going to get to that, Nate, in a second. Um, good, good point, though. The other thing I'm going to say is, so Bradley and a man, that's where it's going to be really, really helpful for you is the CRM training. And we just uploaded a ton of new content in there. All right, so follow me, folks. So we've got the, you know, the the sales one-on-one stuff, the basics in car sales, which he's getting from the Cardone training right now. Uh, shout out to my man, Grant. So what's up? Uh, then we're going to turn around and I want you to focus on Bradley and the man because I don't want to turn on and confuse for the different stuff. Finish the certification, you know, for Cardone. While you're doing that, go through the Bradley and the man for CRM and the next part I'm going to tell you. And then when you're done with the Cardone stuff, then you can go through Bradley and the man's for my showroom and my internet sales and phone sales stuff. Okay. All right. So the next part of it is this. Okay. And this is really big. You ready? Is the marketing. Because there's people in our group, which SMH, shaking my head, that, that what happens is they, that they're worried about fresh ups and they're worried about, you know, it's not fair. Listen to me. There's nothing fair in sales. Sales is a, is a competitive sport. You know what I mean? It's a professional sport. You know, uh, again, you, you, some of the best people in this industry, they don't turn on and take one up. I'm going to tell you right now, Frank Crenitti is like my, my hero. You know what I'm saying? Like if there was a Frank doll, like a, like a, like a GI Joe with Kung Fu grip, that's my man right there. You know what I mean? Like the dude sells a hundred cars a month. I mean, you don't get any badass than that. You know what I'm saying? He takes not one fresh up, honey. He doesn't take one, you know, a phone up or, or, uh, you know, an internet up or none of that stuff. What he does is he turns around 
he what he turns around and do does is referrals and prospecting so that's the next part that i want to kind of get into you here and this is where we're going to turn around and showcase this uh, in our group is that and this is where we're going to excel i want you to turn around and say a quick thank you to brian chapman and cameron and ken potter because they're giving you a builder brand thank you all right and so we've got some of the best people in the industry that are ho hooking up my daughter. So build a brand. She's going to have her own full blown website. We're going to spend a couple quick minutes here because we're at the house and it's it's Christmas. But I want to kind of go into this. OK, so so T, you're going to have your own website. It's going to be a full blown website. You're going to be able to have your own referral program. Um, you're going to have inventory integrated. I already talked to your general manager. So he already greenlit that you're going to be able to uh, the, the uh, inventory integration. Mm -hmm. Think of it this way. As a sales professional, you want to turn around and, and be your own internet department, your own BDC. So for example, Savage 61, your dealership, they have their own website. They have their own digital marketing. They have their own search engine optimization, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the things that people don't realize in sales is that car sales is like owning your own business. And if you're going to be your own business, business, you need to have your own website. So what mama and I are going to do is I need you to start thinking of a brand like my girl, Heather Geese right here. My, uh, yo, Merry Christmas to you, Aaron. God bless man. For real, Frank, that's what's up. So, um, what's going to happen is this is Heather Geese came up with pink heels and automobiles. Um, just ask for Jeff is, is Jeff's thing. I want you to come up with your own brand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Savage 61 is, is its own brand under Chrysler. See Chrysler manufacturer has their own thing. That has nothing to do with Savage 61. That's why yeah. Savage 61 is its own brand within the Chrysler franchise. You need to create your own brand, darling, un within Savage 61. So, you know what I mean? Um, you could turn around and, and I'm just freestyling off the top right here. We could turn around and spend the next couple days for the Christmas really thinking about this with mama. Mama's a marketing genius too. But yeah, Frankie Spots, like I love that. You know, uh, you know, we deliver to your spot. I mean, that's right. It's my, that's one of my mentees right there. So Frank, shout out. I love that. Yo, Frank, you should have got logged into Bradley. I mean, I know my other mentee, um, you know, Tony White got logged in. So if you didn't get with Franca and Jackie to get logged into Bradley and man, you're slipping, brother. Hey, Merry Christmas, Ryan. God bless. Let me, let me go back to this here so you know um you need to think about like of a brand so you might turn around and you know you might turn around and, and i'm just freestyling here you might say like your savage car girl you know what i mean like again because you know savage you know is like a millennial term i think you know what i mean and i love that name so what you could turn around and do is like you know your savage car girl what you don't want to do is brand specific to chrysler because you're going to sell used cars and you're going to sell jeep or whatever so what you might want to do is this see savage car girl could be something dope you know what I mean? That could be dope as fuck. You know what I mean? But that's up to you. But Savage Car Girl, which falls into Savage. Um, but or you can turn around and just, you know, come up with something like that. The next thing, though, is once you come up with your brand, then our, our, we have a, a, an amazing. Thank you, Brandon. Much respect to you, too, sir. So we have an amazing digital marketing team at Dealer Synergy. So once you come up with your brand, me and Mama, this is part of your Christmas present, is that we're going to come up with some of the Illmatic business cards. We're going to do all your social media. So we're going to do your Facebook, your YouTube, whatever you have. You know, you might even want to turn on and have, like I've seen some people do, like, you know, not like a cartoon, but like all, all, almost one of those and emojis type of thing not an emojis emojis but like you know like a like a like a tiana mick one you know what i mean so once you come up with that we're going to do all the artwork you're going to have the most professional social media the most professional business cards you're going to have your own website through build a brand and we're going to have like our people at digisphere are going to help create like a social media strategy the other thing that i want you to do is i'm going to get you a, a backup CRM. Okay. It's going to be called Zoho. It's the one that we use at dealer synergy, but I'm have your own account. It's only going to cost me like 25 bucks a month, but I'm going to invest that in you. What I want you to do is I want you to, cause you have to respect the dealerships data and not touch the dealerships data. But when you're prospecting and generating referrals, I want you to be able to create a backup into Zoho. So that's Zoho.com. And so anything that's generated from the dealership is going to stay, stay steady in the dealership. You see what I'm saying? But we're going to get you a Zoho backup CRM and it's going to be all of your prospects and your data. The other thing is that we're going to use constant contact. You familiar with what that is, mm -hmm. which is an email marketing program, you know? And so what you're going to do is, um, you're going to have your own newsletter. So if it's your savage girl, your savage car girl, or something like that, it, you know, what I'm envisioning for you is you're going to once a month, you're going to have your own savage car girl newsletter that's going to go out to your people you're going to turn to have your own little database and what i want you to do 
is I'm gonna show you through here how to turn around and create your brand, you know what I mean? The one thing I do want you to be able to do is the three books that I want you to read, you know, for me, or use the audiobooks, and I could, this could be like, you know, uh, a, a global Christmas present is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. We made you read the kid one when you were a kid, you know, but I want you to go through that book. The next one is How I Became the Orange Tie Guy. It was from Seth Godin's uh, Purple Cow book. You know, it's a great marketing book. Um, those are the two right there that I'm gonna turn around and just say, and the third one I'll, I'll, I'll keep offline, because that's a top, top secret one for my daughter. But um, again, so let's recap this so we could get there and you know get you know uh, Christmas wrapping home. at home. Okay, so the first thing is we start talking about product knowledge. You want to turn around and make sure that you go through all the product knowledge from your manufacturer. You want to go through YouTube. You want to save links on a Google Share Drive. You also want to turn around and um, you know find some rock stars in and yeah, Aaron, absolutely. You want to find some rock stars in the industry, friend them, and see what they're doing. Okay, so that's the product knowledge stuff. You're gonna go through the Cardone for right now for the Car Sales 101. You're gonna go through Bradley Demand for the CRM. You're gonna master your CRM. And then on a the marketing side, you need to come up with a brand. And once you do, uh, mommy and stepdad are gonna go hard to the body with this shit, all right? And so, uh, and I want you to find, like there's some amazing, like, you know, heads up stuff here that people would leave me tips. So you guys are super awesome. Thank you so much for, for um, giving my daughter some advice. Thank you. Okay. And so we, uh, we appreciate it. And I'm just so proud that my daughter is a car girl and she's about to get her, you know, sales license in Pennsylvania and shout out to Savage 61 and Tim Profit. Thank you so much for giving, you know, my daughter a shot and uh, we're going to make it happen, Captain. All right. Take care, everybody.